Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Monsters of Folklore. Today, we're going to be diving into some Kelpie facts you might not know. Now the Kelpies are also referred to as a water Kelpies because they live most of their lives in the water. The name originated in Scotland to describe the shape-shifting water spirit inhabiting the locks, rivers, and streams in their land. Kelpies commonly appear looking like a powerful black horse, but they can also take on the form of a human. Sometimes these forms combine to create a human with hoofs for feet, which is why people have compared Kelpies to the devil. Now, parents in Scotland, they tell their children horror stories about Kelpies in order to convince them to stay away from bodies of water, mostly the dangerous ones. Now, the stories also serve as a warning to teenage women or girls, whatever you'll call them, to be careful around handsome men that might be hiding something. Almost everybody in Scotland has a story associated with Kelpies. However, the most reported sightings take place in Loch Ness, where many other mystical spirits and monsters like Nessie have been spotted. Although some people believe Kelpies are only looking for human companionship, most believe they lure their victims into the water and devour them and then throw their entrails onto land for everyone to find them and see. Whenever there is an unexplained drowning reported, they believe Kelpies are the culprit. Kelpies have the ability to shapeshift into human males, and very rarely females. However, they appear as humans. They are given away by the water weeds stuck in their hair. And if you hear any weird commotion, that is my dog eating her food at this very moment. Now, Kelpies can be captured by using a haltered stamp with the sign of the cross. After one has been caught, its hum superhuman strength can be harnessed and used for tasks like transporting heavy materials and other type of heavy labor. Now some Kelpies, they have been seen wearing bridles and saddles when they take these form of horses. However, if someone tries to ride them, the Kelpies will run back towards the water to drown the riders. And this is because when you touch a Kelpie, you essentially get fused to its skin. Kelpies can only be killed when shot with a silver bullet, somewhat you know, like a werewolf. After its death, though, it appears as a soft mass, such as, you know, a jellyfish or just a big old glob of slime, basically. When a kelpie enters the water, the sound of its tail splashing resembles thunder and lightning. So it's pretty spooky if you live in these type of areas and you hear that. Now, kelpies are also able to use their powers to summon massive floods and to sweep travelers away, or to drown people just beneath the waves just for the fun of it. Now, kelpies have a mane that is always dripping wet even when on the land. When you touch it or any piece of a kelpie, then your flesh will become stuck to theirs, like I had stated earlier. Now, folklorists who do not believe in the existence of kelpies, they assume the stories originated because of human sacrifices that took place in the past to appease the gods of the water. Even though most people believe kelpies are evil creatures that should be avoided at all costs, there are some people who view kelpies in a positive way. They believe the water horse actually saves the children from drowning. Now that was just a handful of Kelpie facts that you might not know, even if you do or you don't, what well, you do now. And about a year and a, about a year and a half ago, I done a video on the Kelpie. I kept calling it a Kelpie. That was you know, my mistake because I had recently got you know, heavily invested into cryptids, mythology creatures, and monsters and things like that. But if you enjoyed this video, give me some ideas of other ones you might like to see, like you know, stories and sightings and things like that, or just an explanation of what a creature is. And as always, like the video, comment your opinion on it, and subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you later.